person and then questions on the Zoom. Yeah. Great environment today. Um, you know, hard fought game, really. Um, Indiana got out quickly, playing really good basketball. Uh, too much Trace Jackson Davis, really, but uh, our guys fought the whole time. You know, we could have tied it up with three minutes left or so, an open three. Uh, we need to probably get that one down, but uh, we fought and uh, tough life on the road against a really good basketball team. We can give Indiana a lot of credit. Um, they were physical from the start and uh, you know, they played really good basketball. And, uh, a lot of Trace Jackson Davis and Miller Cobb. Um, it's probably a great uh, combination for them you know, moving forward, but they did a good job and, and got us today. Questions? Uh, Miller Kopp has had his best performances versus Rutgers. What has been the challenge for your team when guarding him? Trace Jackson Davis. Miller Kopp. Yeah, Trace Jackson Davis is the problem. So you got to double team him, and then the ball gets moved out. And, you know, he's the recipient of you know the good passing. I think Trace had six, seven assists. You know, probably a lot of those were to Miller Kopp, and he's a really good shooter and a really good player. So uh, you know, you have to pick your poison sometimes when you play. A post guy like that. I recognize the environment. The venue probably has some of it, but what's different about looking at this Indiana team when you were getting ready for them tonight versus when you saw them in December? Um, Hochefino, he, he didn't play in, in the game. Um, obviously, you know, they're more experienced now. They've gone through a season. You go through the obstacles of the season. They've been hardened. You know, it's just a good basketball team in a great environment here today. Obviously, they're uh, really tough at home. Uh, speaking of Trace Jackson Davis, it seemed like you guys did a few different things in terms of doubling. Is that because of his passing ability that's kind of improved over the course of this year and over his career? He's just good. Yeah. You know, he's good. So uh, you can't just do one thing against them. You know, I don't think that's the uh, route to uh, success against them. He's so fast. He played you know, at a high level today. And he has been playing at a high level, but you better show him different looks. You know, he's, he's, he's good. Right here. Coach, what was different about your approach defensively in the second half versus the first half? Um, no, I just thought we, you know, we obviously gave up too many points in transition. Obviously, uh, you know, I tell our guys all the time, you can't defend the foul line. So um, they got us by a huge number from, from the free throw line, you know, when that really was the difference. I mean, they. 11 extra points they got at the free throw line. So you can't, you got to defend these guys without fouling them. Um, and that becomes, you know, a huge key, you know, in this game. It's just another way to score. When our defense was set, I felt pretty good about it, you know. But uh, again, you can't defend the foul line. We got to defend without fouling. Is it here? Go ahead, Jerry. Uh, whoever is, has their audio going, please turn it off. Jerry, you can start. Okay, Steve, uh, how do you think your, your guys responded without Mawat? It's a big piece to take out emotionally and obviously defensively and physically. Yeah, I mean, she, you know, obviously only had a couple of days now to, you know, figure things out without Mawat. He's been a huge part of what we've been trying to do. I feel awful for him. Um, the guys love him too. Um, he certainly would have helped us on the backboards today with, with our defense, but uh, we have to make adjustments and, you know, haven't had a lot of time to work on some of the things, you know, without him. So uh, we have to spend a little time here in the next couple of weeks, you know, getting life adjusted. I did think Oscar came in and gave us some great minutes. And, uh, you know, Derek and, and that bench is going to be important, you know, to us moving forward now that we moved Andre into the starting lineup. Go ahead, Brian. Steve, can you tell us anything about what's next from what as far as if and when he's going to get surgery, how long they expect him to kind of the rehab process to be, anything about what, what he has in front of him? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's obviously it's an ACL, so it's, it's a long journey. You know, it's a long journey. We're figuring out, you know, when he's going to have a surgery. But, you know, ACLs take time, and, you know, we have great doctors, and uh, we have great rehab people, but, you know, those, those are... Those are a lot of rehab kind of injuries. Go ahead, Aaron. Coach, uh, the last two games you're giving Derek Simpson a uh, run down the stretch uh, with the starters. What has he shown you and uh, be able to earn those minutes? Yeah, I mean, he can go by people, his speed and quickness. You know, 
we could defend too. So, um, you know, I felt like today he had, you know, had it going a little bit, and uh, can he can bother the basketball? He brings us another defender too now that Mawat's out. So, um, you know, he got to keep getting better because he's an important part of this thing moving forward. Ryan, you got another? Yeah, Steve, I'm wondering about the emotional reaction of the team from losing a guy like Watt. I'm sure Saturday guys had an idea that this might be possible, but to know that, you know, he's, he's done for the year, how did the guys kind of deal with it emotionally and how has that impacted the locker room? Yeah, well, it's tough anytime you lose. These guys are tight. This group is really connected, you know, and, and Watt's right in the middle of it. He's a great teammate, so it's, uh, you know, it's tough. It's tough on Watt. He's battled hard to get to where he's gotten, and you know, to have it end right here in the middle of things is, is not obviously where he wants to be or where any of us want him to be. So it's tough, and he's, you know, the great friends on the team, so they all feel for him. Last one, Jerry. Steve, can can your team gain something out of this going in there, fighting like this, fighting back in that environment with a walk? Can you use that as a teachable moment? I mean, you have to. I mean, this, we were down 14 in this game. You know, they had the momentum, they had everything. We kept fighting. We fought the whole time. I mean, it's a one possession game with three minutes left. But again, you know, Jerry, I look at these things and I just say, you know, like uh, the disparity there. You know, you cannot defend the foul line. So you can't put people on there, you know, and, and that's something we talk about and preach. You know, you got to defend without fouling. And we didn't do that today. And, Huge advantage to him, but you know, give give Indiana credit. They got there. Trace Jackson Davis was a problem. You know, they made some plays. Uh, Miller made some big baskets for him too when it was kind of getting close. So, uh, you know, give them credit. And it's a tough, tough environment. They're playing as well as anybody in the country. So, um, you, you know, uh, we got a battle back. It doesn't get any easier here. He's still on the road again. So three straight trips here on the road. Um, you know, away from Jersey bikes, not easy right now. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.